All right, in uh, this problem, we're going to look at, uh, this is a job problem, but it's not quite like some of the other job problems that we've been working on. Um, the big key in, in this problem um, is that the two folks here, this being welders, um, they're not working the entire time together. Uh, that was one of the key things with some of the other uh, uh, job problems is we had the, the two folks or w pumps or whatever uh, working together the entire time to, to do a job. So in this particular problem, we have two welders who work at the same rate are welding girders of a building. After they work together for 17 hours, one of the welders quits. The second welder requires 20 more hours to finish and then they would like us to find the rate of the welder and, or they may um, ask us to find um, the uh, the time required to uh, the time required for one from one welder to do the job and so we've we've done stuff where we've we've, we've done a table so we'll try to be kind of consistent with that and we'll mention where the table doesn't work so great um, so let's go on to the next slide here um, so we'll do a a table, so we'll put the welder one, the welder two, and then together. Now, when we make this table for other uh, problems, and then we have time times the rate is equal to one job, um, the, the, the assumption when we kind of make this table is they're working together the entire time, and they're only working together for 17 hours, at which time then the other one of the welders quits, and then and the other one is working for. Uh, 20 more hours. So let's see what we can do with this. Um, so we can call the, they, they tell us that they uh, weld at the same rate, so by themselves they're going to require the same amount of time, we can call that X. And remember if it took you two hours to do a job, then in one hour you've done about half of the hour, so then you have two hours times uh, your rate of one half per hour, that's going to equal one job. So if you know what the time is, the rate is going to be the reciprocal. We're, we're assuming that the, the rate is, is, is constant. Um, and so for the rate of, of each of these welders is going to be one over x, okay? And then x times one over x is going to be one job. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross out the uh, together part because they're not really working the same they're not working together the entire time. But we're going to use the idea of, of your rate times the time still. Okay. So if we look at the first welder, um, we'll assume that that welder is the one that works for 17 hours and then quits. So that first welder um, rate is 1 over x, and the time that he or she works is 17 hours. Okay. Now the second welder has the same rate and he or she works 17 hours with the first welder and then 20 more. Okay, And once we've done that there's the first welder, there's the second welder and the times that they worked with their rates. Um, when they're all done they've completed one job. Okay, So that's what's a little bit different here. We don't have like a, a 1 over t kind of thing because they're not working the entire time so that, that's what makes this one a little bit different. Okay, so then we'll rewrite. So we have 17 over x plus uh, 37 over x is equal to one job. And we have a common denominator, so it's going to be 54 over x is equal to one. Okay, and I'm, I know I got like the little Dorsiri ad thing here that I thought when I paid $30 for the license they wouldn't put there, but it's there, so I tried to not put stuff down there. So we're going to migrate up to the upper right hand corner here. Um, and we'll solve it. So 54 over x is equal to 1, and we're going to multiply by the common denominator. There is only one denominator, it's x. So we'll multiply both sides by x. And um, so then we have 54 is equal to uh, x, okay? Now, depending on what they ask, um, I think in the problem on the previous slide, I said, what's the rate? Um, they may ask you how many hours it takes. Well, it takes 54 hours for one welder by themselves, and the rate would just be the reciprocal, which would be 1 over 54. So 1 54th of the job is done per hour. Okay? Um, try it out. I think you have, uh, if you're doing the My Open Math, you have, um, I think, two examples of this. You also have one on that applications worksheet. So hopefully that you find this helpful.